What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Houseplant Therapy, where houseplants are life. Well, I also like fish tanks too. So today I wanna to talk about the pothos plant. A lot of people have been asking me this question. My pothos plant is drooping. Maybe the leaves just aren't looking the greatest and the plant is just looking sad. So pothos plants are probably the most popular house plant in the industry right now. And I will say it's probably because they are so easy to keep and they're considered low light, even though I would like to disagree with that. All plants enjoy light. Um, so what's happening here is the pothos plant isn't looking so hot. First things first, I wanna talk about yellow leaves. A lot of times if your pothos plant has yellow leaves, it's probably a deficiency in light. A lot of times our plants up here don't get enough lighting. And the reason is because the window's over here and it just doesn't receive enough lighting up here. Same as these plants over here. Sometimes you can add some like LED grow lights. That's what we did here. And it kind of helps the plants a little bit. Um, sometimes these cheap LED grow lights aren't the best, but um, to fix that, you can move around the pothos plant to different areas and different windows in your house. We also have a porch in here. And obviously the porch gets a lot more lighting. We're in the kind of, we're in the mix of building this porch. Did I, did I just say porch or something else? <laughs> porch. So um, yellow leaves usually means a light deficiency. So the next thing people always ask about is the leaves in the plant start to droop. What this usually means when the pothos plants start to droop is that you overwatered your plant. A lot of people don't know this about the pothos plant, but this plant actually likes to be neglected. And when I say that, I mean it likes to go quite a long time without, you know, it 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 hates being overwatered versus underwater. Neglect is better than overwatering it because this plant it, it can grow in water. It, this is a the pothos plant is sort of a weird plant it can completely grow in water or it can grow in soil or dry uh, substrate essentially or media whatever you want to call it but it doesn't like the confused stage so as you can see here we're keeping pothos in this aquarium and the, it's doing great so you might ask yourself well why does it care if it's over water that's because the plant has to transition completely to over to being used to water if it's in soil, it only likes to be in soil. But the, the, the cause of the issue here is you're overwatering your plant. The, the plant starts to droop, the, posho, the pothos looks sad, the leaves might start to curl. Well, actually, usually when the leaves curl, that means that it's underwatered and wants more water. I want to say we water the pothos plants here maybe like once every two weeks because neglect is better than overwatering. Trust me on this. And the way to tell if you have watered your pothos plant enough is to kind of just feel the soil or feel the media, whatever you want to call it. You will just, as you keep house plants longer and longer, you will kind of grow to know how much, like what it should feel like. And it, I mean, it's not, it's moist, but it's not completely dried out. And a lot of times if you can just push your, push your finger all the way through the soil, it's too dry. And another, another way of figuring out if your pothos plant has adequate amounts of water is lift it up. I know this sounds crazy because maybe you're new to houseplants, but lift it up and see if you can feel the water weight within the soil because the soil is holding the water. And I will admit, this is a little frustrating because I literally just told you that you, you have to water the plant adequate enough for it to be happy but do not overwater the plant. So that's what's tough with house plants, you know? It's almost like the magic sauce of being in between. You don't want to underwater the plant and you don't want to overwater the plant. I think this is hands down the biggest obstacle when learning how to keep house plants is finding out that, or figuring out that magic sauce to just figuring out how, how much you should water your plant, if that makes sense. So guys, Without further ado, I hope this video helped you. I know it sounds kind of weird to kind of just like make an entire video about a pothos plant drooping. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to quit babbling here. Hit me up in the comment section. I'll try to help answer your questions. 
Tell me your frustrations with your pothos plant. Is is your plant not looking so great? Is it is it drooping? Is, are the leaves looking yellow? Chances are um, your your pothos plant is not in good shape. So hopefully we this video kind of helps you give an uh, give you an idea of what to expect as far as fixing these issues. Without further ado, guys, please like the video, comment below, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. I love you guys.